Hey! What are you doing over there? Who doesn't dream of stumbling upon proof of Bigfoot during a morning jog? or spotting the Loch Ness Monster while sorting through taxes. While these exact moments haven't occurred yet, it seems photographers are inching ever closer to capturing images of the world's greatest mysteries. From the clearest shot of Bigfoot to the eerie sighting of the legendary Mothman, we're counting down 20 terrifying creatures that were accidentally caught on camera. Number 20. Mothman. Here's a question you've almost definitely never been asked. Do you believe in Mothman? Oh, you don't know what Mothman is? I guess it's kind of like Batman, but not at all like Batman. Does that clear things up for you? Maybe we should just get on with it. On November 15, 1966, a newspaper in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, reported that several people had seen a man-sized bird, beast, something, during an otherwise ordinary evening in the Point Pleasant area. The report sparked national press coverage of the story, with many people desperately seeking out the mysterious creature. Soon, many people claimed to have seen the same creature all over the United States. The creature became so popular and often cited that it was later named the so-called Mothman. Even today, people are still spotting this alleged creature. With modern technology, however, it's never been easier for people to register and express skepticism about something, meaning that it's not exactly easy to convince people that you've seen a giant Mothman. In fact, it's almost impossible to do so in an era when even video evidence can't be trusted. Seeing is believing but it has to be seen in a way that cannot be disproven. Life is complicated, man. So many rules. Number 19. Lagerfeldjot River Worm Countries all over the world have their own mythical creatures. You have the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Dracula, you name it. But you know who's never mentioned in these conversations? Iceland. Which sucks because they have a pretty great monster all of their own, the Lagerfeldjot Worm. Or to put it more simply, a big worm. Local legend states that a monster has lurked in this lake since 1345, and a sighting of the worm is typically considered to be a bad omen. The monster is said to have started as a tiny worm placed on a ring of gold by a young girl who hoped that the gold would grow. However, when the girl returned, she discovered that the gold didn't grow at all. Instead, it was the worm that had grown into a large and fearsome snake. That's not what you want from your investment, right? The Lagerfeldjot worm has reportedly been seen multiple times over the past few decades. However, there still remains no concrete proof that it even exists. So this is really all down to you to decide. Is there really a giant river worm living within Iceland's water? Or is it nothing more than an old folktale designed to terrify children into not being greedy? I don't really know what the moral is. Maybe it's, don't play with worms. That's always a good one. Number 18. The Ninjen. The Ninjen is one of the most legendary and memified monsters out there. If you don't know what it is, let me describe it as a kind of abominable snowman, but weirder, somehow. I didn't think it was possible either, but there we go. An unidentified so-called monster human was videotaped swimming in the frigid waters of Antarctica. The humanoid creature appears to be floating through the ocean, but before viewers can work out what it is, the clip suddenly cuts off. A caption suggested the entity was a ninjen, which translates as human in Japanese. So, if you are to believe this video, it seems that the ninjen does actually exist, though that may well be a claim that's up for debate. It's really up to the eye of the beholder to determine if it's the real deal or just a very convincing fraud. No matter what you ultimately believe, I think we can all agree that the idea of the Ninjen is pretty weird and kind of frightening. A great humanoid white monster is unsettling. They haven't yet made a horror movie about the Ninjen, but I imagine it's only a matter of time. Number 17. Mysterious Beach Creature Whenever a weird animal is found on the beach, it always creates a huge stir online. It's like the internet just gets very hyped and excited at the news of weirdness. But what was discovered on this Georgian beach was much weirder than weird. It was something else entirely. On a beach in the Wolf Island National Wildlife Refuge in southeast Georgia, Jeff Warren reportedly found the decomposing remains of what appeared to be a strange creature. Warren then sent out the photos of the remains to various media outlets in Georgia, where the story quickly went viral, with many online speculating on what the heck it could be. Marine scientists have come up with several theories to explain the mysterious creature, but admit there's no real way to know for sure. Could be a hoax, or it could merely be a decomposing fish. And more to the point, would anybody want to know? Or would we rather just keep wildly speculating with nothing based in fact? The mysterious beach creature remains unidentified even today, but the theories have never stopped. Many people think it's some otherworldly alien creature who happened to fall to Earth. Some people think it's nothing more than an earthly sea creature who met an unfortunate demise. And absolutely nobody thinks it's some elaborate publicity stunt related to Kanye West except me because, well, ye is unpredictable like that. Number 16. Mysterious Forest Creature 
It's not every day that you happen to accidentally discover a whole new species, but some people are lucky enough to actually do that. This next story is one such example. Somebody managed to uncover an entirely new species. They just don't know what it is. A camera trap set up to photograph wildlife on the Indonesian side of Borneo Island two times captured images of a creature the size of a cat with long hind legs and a tail. After checking out the footage, researchers believed that it was a new carnivore species, but not everyone could agree on that. If it is a new carnivore species, it would be the first discovery of a meat eater on the island since 1895, when the Borneo ferret badger was first discovered. However, Bornean wildlife experts struggled to classify the mammal, which they say could be a lemur. However, people are still confused about the animal's identity, and that's why scientists think it may be a new species. This may actually be one of the few times where the scientists can't debunk claims that have no basis in fact. Because nobody knows if the species is new or something familiar, they can't really suggest that it's not anything. So why the heck not? This is Garfield's older brother. Now it's time for today's topic. In the dense and mysterious forests of Northern California, a man recently captured what is being called the clearest images of Bigfoot ever taken. The sighting occurred near the secluded regions of Trinity County, where many locals have whispered about strange sightings for years. Late one night, the man was startled by strange, heavy footfalls outside his cabin. The sounds were too powerful to be any ordinary animal. Gathering his courage and his camera, he approached his window and was stunned to see a towering, hairy figure lurking just beyond the tree line. With shaking hands, he snapped several photos of the creature, which appeared to be observing his cabin. The images show an enormous, muscular figure covered in dark, thick fur, with glowing eyes reflecting in the camera's flash. These photos have ignited a storm of debate online, with some hailing them as the most convincing evidence yet of Bigfoot's existence. Experts are divided, with some cryptozoologists believing this might finally prove the legend while skeptics question the validity of the images. As investigations continue, many are wondering if the deep forests of Northern California may indeed be home to a mysterious creature that has eluded capture for centuries. Could Bigfoot truly be real? The mystery grows deeper. Number 15. Yeti Sighting Does the Yeti exist? It's a question that's been asked for centuries. Along with Bigfoot, this guy is right up at the top of the list of mythical animals we're desperate to know more about. But wouldn't you know it, all we had to do was ask the Indian military. Who could have seen that coming? In 2019, the Indian army claimed to have found Yeti footprints at a base camp in the Himalayas. In case you don't know, the abominable snowman is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Himalayas. People often report seeing the beast or its footprints in India, Nepal, or Bhutan. But there's no hard scientific evidence that Yetis exist. Still, the myth persists perhaps stronger than ever now. Even the Indian army contributes to the legend by tweeting pictures of what they call footprints in the snow. When people online questioned what the army had done with the find, they assured curious onlookers that the evidence about the creature had been photographed and handed over to subject matter experts, which is a little sinister but okay. I never would have imagined that the Indian army, of all people, would be suggesting that the abominable snowman actually exists. But I guess we're really through the looking glass in terms of life on Earth at this point, right? Number 14. Skunk Ape In a state full of legends and mythological creatures known as influencers, it takes a lot for anything to truly stand out in Florida. Well, my friends, we now have a creature that does stand out, the skunk ape. I know, I know, you're already fascinated by it. Well, my friends, let's get swampy. The skunk ape, also known as the swamp ape, is a creature reported to inhabit the forests and swamps of Florida. Some say the skunk ape is related to Bigfoot an American icon if ever there was one, and some arguments have been presented in an attempt to prove the skunk ape's existence, including eyewitness accounts, disputed photographs, audio and video recordings, and footprints. But a majority of mainstream scientists have dismissed the existence of the skunk ape, claiming it to be folklore and a hoax rather than a living creature. Regardless, the skunk ape has become a fixture in the popular culture of the southern United States. Truly is the Florida Bigfoot. As yet, nobody has been able to conclusively prove the skunk ape exists, but when they do make an effort to do it, we'll be ready and waiting to tell you all about it. That said, I don't think I'll be visiting the Florida swamplands anytime soon. I'll take a pass on that little treat. Number 13. Hook Island Monster Where do you go if you're a big Peter Pan fan? That's right, Hook Island. Actually, that's terrible advice. There's absolutely nothing to do with Captain Hook or Peter Pan on this island. I'm so sorry for misleading you like that. However, 
They make up for what they lack in JM berry appreciation with a big OL monster. The Hook Island sea monster is a huge 90-foot sea creature sighted off the coast of Hook Island, resembling a giant tadpole. The huge beast has a gaping mouth with small teeth and eyes placed on the top of its head. The first sighting of the creature took place in 1964, when Robert Lucerec and his family spotted it offshore, moving toward a ship with its mouth agape. The family saw the creature had a lacerated fin, likely injured by a boat propeller or by another sea creature. In his writings, Lucerec said the head was about four feet long and the jaws were about four feet wide. The skin was brownish black, and the eyes looked pale green, almost white. If it had scales, they could not be seen. Sounds pretty intense. It seems that nothing brings a family together like seeing an unsettlingly huge monster. Well, we don't have anything to back this claim up, but I'm gonna say it anyway, the monster saved the family. I don't know, it happens all the time in movies. Number 12, Mermaid. YouTube is full of weird stuff, that's just a fact. But every now and then, you find something that pushes beyond just weird and becomes downright scary to witness. This is one of them. Warning. This is one of the scariest creatures ever caught on camera. According to the person behind the camera, this footage was captured in Lake Colatlan, Nicaragua. It reportedly shows a sea creature believed to be a mermaid writhing around on a wooden dock near the water. Clearly, the creature is trying to get back into the water, but it's not quite working out. It's one of many mermaid videos available on YouTube, and it leaves you just as confused and curious as every other mermaid video on YouTube. From Indonesia to Israel, mermaids are apparently being spotted everywhere. But are they real or is it all a hoax? That's the million dollar question we can't answer. I'll let you guys decide if this is real or not, but you can't lie. If it is real, it's pretty freaky to see a real life mermaid just flopping around trying to get back into the water. It would have been a pretty sinister story if Ariel had done this in The Little Mermaid. Number 11. Houston Chupacabra. The Chupacabra is a legendary monster famous for capturing and eating livestock like it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. But as yet, it remains totally unproven as a real thing. Some people insist that they've seen it, others insist they have proof. But experts have yet to be convinced. Maybe this next guy can do the impossible. From Houston, the man in question was out walking in Houston's west side corridor when he happened to spot an unusual-looking animal. Pulling out his phone, he quickly snapped a picture of what he saw and later uploaded it to the internet. Everybody immediately agreed that what they saw was likely the mythical chupacabra, again in Houston, as opposed to the Central and South American home it's had for centuries. Not that it mattered. The people who wanted to believe believed, and the people who didn't, well, they didn't. In fact, many of those skeptics dismissed the photo with simple logic, arguing that it was likely either a dog suffering from mange or it was a coyote. But the likelihood of it being a mythical South American beast in rural Houston is not impossible, but unlikely. Maybe it's finally gotten a taste of the delicious Texas barbecue. Who knows? Number 10. Mysterious Hairy Blob. Every now and then, something strange will wash up onto the shores of an island and confuse the locals. Sometimes, that strange thing is even stranger than anyone expected. That may have been too many strange, but hey, if ever there was a video to describe using that word, this is it. A 20-foot unidentified sea creature washed up on the shores of San Antonio in Oriental Mindoro, in the Philippines. The enormous decomposing blob looks like it's melting amidst a swirling coat of white hair. But what the heck is it? Nobody actually knows. Residents of a Philippine coastal village rushed to see the strange mass of blubber, hoping to take a picture with the grotesque blob. But others feared it was a bad omen for the town, some kind of sinister, apocalyptic warning coming to their home. According to science, it's probably nothing more than a decomposing animal, but that seems a little too simple and convenient for many people online, who instead believe it's some kind of B-movie monster. We'll leave it to you to decide whatever it is, but all I can tell you is if that thing comes to life, we're all doomed. Never trust a hairy blob. Number 9. Huge Strange Bird Here's a lesson that nobody should need. Don't bring strange birds home. If you happen to see a bird on the street, it's probably a good idea to just leave it to exist, especially if it's a giant bird of prey. I mean, what kind of genius would ever think to bring one of these home? His name is Anais. Anais is a local resident of Pahasia Village in the Muratabad district. When he allegedly found this huge bird of prey near a riverside, he decided it was a great idea to bring it home. I don't think you have to be a genius to figure out what happens next. Yeah, the bird turned violent. What a shock. Desperate to shield himself from the violence, Anais ended up restraining the bird of prey in chains, and it's easy to see why. Its wingspan measures 8 feet, and it stands 4 feet high. Though no one from the village has seen a creature like this, 
They believe it is some kind of predator. Apparently, the bird had been making loud screeches that startled the villagers even more, leading some to speculate that it might be an escaped exotic species. Local authorities were notified, and soon enough, wildlife experts arrived to assess the situation. They confirmed that this massive bird was, in fact, a critically endangered species, likely displaced from its natural habitat due to environmental changes. Well, duh. I don't think you have to be a genius IQ-level mastermind to know that you shouldn't be bringing birds of prey home with you, especially if you're just finding them on the street. It's like asking to be punched in the face and then being surprised when somebody does it. Number 8. Ocean Sunfish There are so many fish out there worthy of our attention. They're all just so fascinating. But some are especially curious. One of those has to be the ocean sunfish, a fish that has a unique record attached to it. And no, it's nothing to do with the longest sock or something crazy like that, although that would be something. The ocean sunfish is one of the two heaviest known bony fish in the world, second only to the southern sunfish. The adult sunfish generally weighs between 545 and 4,409 pounds and is native to tropical and temperate waters worldwide. A sunfish resembles a flattened fish head with a tail, and its main body is as tall as it is long when its dorsal and ventral fins are extended. Despite their massive size, sunfish are surprisingly gentle and primarily feed on jellyfish, making them less of a threat and more of a marvel in the marine ecosystem. They're also known for their love of sunbathing near the surface of the ocean, where they can be seen floating on their sides, soaking up the sun. Sunfish have a relatively short lifespan for their size, and scientists are still trying to learn more about their reproductive habits. Given their odd appearance and behaviors, they've earned a special place in the world of marine biology and in the hearts of curious ocean enthusiasts. Because it's native to tropical temperatures, it's unlikely you'll see one of these in Idaho. But given the rapidly changing effects of climate change, it probably won't be too long before you'll see them all over the place. And no, that's very much not a good thing. But I think you probably already knew that. Number 7. Transforming Creature What? You thought transformers could only be cars. Guess again. Apparently, there are such things as biological transformers, but what they are exactly is a whole other thing. And it seems nobody can really agree on an answer to it, which sums up most issues happening in 2022, honestly. This online video of a bizarre creature that transforms underwater left viewers completely shocked and confused. A remotely operated vehicle captured the video of an unidentified creature at a depth of 3,753 feet in the Indian Ocean. The video has apparently not been altered in any way, and it was taken off the coast of Africa. But what exactly we're looking at, that's still a mystery. According to scientists, even expert marine biologists can't agree on the species of this unidentified animal. One popular theory is that it could be a type of siphonophore, a colonial organism made up of many smaller entities that work together, though this idea hasn't been confirmed. Another theory floating around is that it might be some kind of deep-sea jellyfish or cephalopod with unusual abilities to change shape in the depths. Meanwhile, conspiracy theorists have had a field day, with some claiming it's evidence of extraterrestrial life or an underwater military experiment gone wrong. Regardless of the speculation, what's clear is that the ocean still holds countless mysteries, and we're only scratching the surface of what's really lurking down there. And that's pretty exciting for anybody who has even a passing interest in the creatures that call the ocean their home. It's not exactly the Little Mermaid, but underwater transformers does get me excited, I have to admit. Number 6. Strange Cave Creatures Maybe you remember this video. Some curious tourists wandering through Thailand happened to stumble upon a strange ritual with many odd-looking creatures taking part. Many have described the creatures as being Yuak-like, referring to the Star Wars Muppet characters. Well, we have a little update on that. It's weird. As it turns out, the whole thing was a hoax. That's not hugely surprising in the era of influencers and social media, but it's still disappointing because we want to believe. According to people who know all about this, the whole thing was a partnership between the curious tourists and a group of artists who had created the costumes and were also performing the roles. What's even more peculiar is that they reportedly went to great lengths to make the ritual seem authentic, involving traditional-looking artifacts and even chanting in an unfamiliar language. Local authorities were none too pleased, especially as the performance started to attract media attention. In fact, there were rumors that some of the tourists who were in on the hoax had received threats from angry locals who felt that the act disrespected their culture. Still, if that was their goal, I think it's safe to say they succeeded. The internet was fascinated by the bizarre creatures and wanted to know more about them. It's easy to think that many people would have ventured out to Thailand in hopes of getting to know these little Yuak-like guys better. Imagine their disappointment when they found out it was a sweaty guy named Jeff. Number 5. La Junta Alien I've always said that E.T. would be a very different story if it happened in our modern world. For one thing, all of the cameras everywhere would make it very hard to try and protect him from prying eyes. Want proof of that claim? 
Look no further than this next video. This video was posted on Facebook and was captured outside of a La Junta home. The footage shows a strange, almost Dobby-like creature wandering around the neighborhood, seemingly confused or curious, with short, gangly legs and floppy ears. Apparently, the homeowner, Vivian Gomez, had noticed a shadow outside her front door, but it wasn't until she looked at the footage that she realized what was going on. Strangely enough, the other two cameras didn't pick up anything. As soon as the footage hit the internet, everybody went nuts. People all over the world began chiming in, hoping to try and figure out what this thing was. Some claimed it was a prank by a neighborhood kid, while others swore it had to be something supernatural. A few even suggested it was some new kind of animal or a creature we hadn't yet discovered. Was it an alien, a man in a suit, or something else entirely? The only answer that can be given is, I have no idea. Even now, the mystery lingers, and people still revisit the footage in hopes of finding something everyone else missed. Number 4. Idaho Pterosaur So, I'm pretty sure that we all know dinosaurs are no longer around, right? They've been extinct for millions of years, and yet some people are still insistent that we have dinosaur era animals around even today. But are they telling the truth or just talking absolute nonsense? Great question, nobody knows. A YouTube video suggests that pterosaurs, extinct flying reptiles that lived at the same time as dinosaurs, were spotted in Idaho in the U.S. Unlike blurry, shaky UFO videos, this footage of a flying creature is clear and steady. The pterosaur is colored a light brown and resembles a pterodactyl. What's bizarre is how many people online are swearing this video is real, claiming to have seen similar creatures in other parts of the world. Pterosaurs went extinct simultaneously with dinosaurs, so it's unlikely that anyone would spot one flying over Idaho, although you never know. Some have even suggested that certain regions of the world, like remote jungles or untouched islands, might still harbor ancient species. We hinge closer and closer to Jurassic World becoming a reality with every day that passes. For now, we can say with some confidence that you're unlikely to see a pterosaur flying high in the U.S. skies. But again, the world is changing so rapidly that it's becoming more uncertain where we're going. It's entirely possible that we'll all be taking photos of flying pterosaurs soon, everywhere from Idaho to, I don't know, Zurich. Number 3. Man-like creature. The chupacabra has been the subject of intense focus for a long, long time. Much like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, people have dedicated their whole lives to tracking down this mythical beast in the hopes of getting answers. As yet, however, they've found nothing. The chupacabra myth first began when Puerto Rican farmers found their goats tortured and drained of blood. Over the years, sightings have popped up across Latin America, sparking both fear and fascination with each sighting adding a new layer to the legend. However, new footage claims to have captured the beast on camera as it wanders through the Portuguese desert. In a short clip, the mysterious creature is seen walking on two legs and stooping its head. Its hunched posture and gaunt figure lend an eerie atmosphere to the clip, making viewers question what exactly they are witnessing. The strange beast blends in with its desert surroundings, but the beast doesn't stay in view for long. Instead, it disappears behind a large bush. The camera pans out to show a parked car, the outside world totally unaware of what is happening nearby. Now, I guess the big question is, is this really the chupacabra, or are we looking at some weird dude? Great question, you can make up your own mind on the answer to that one. In my opinion, I think it's absolutely the chupacabra, and I'm very glad to make its acquaintance. Well, from a distance, anyway. Number 2. Mysterious Blob-Like Creature it's not just tropical climates in far-flung corners of the world that get weird, unexplained sea creatures washing up. It can also happen in more domestic areas of the planet like, say, Texas, because that's where we're going next. And you know what they say, everything's jelly in Texas. A strange-looking sea creature has left beachgoers baffled when it washed up on a Texas shore. Holly Grant from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department came across a jelly-like creature while surveying the aquatic life in Night Talk Bay's Laguna Madre. The department posted a short video of one of its employees holding a squirming creature in her hand, challenging followers to identify it. Of course, they couldn't. Some people did suggest that it was the monster from the 1958 horror movie The Blob. I have yet to confirm that, but that would not be good. While we wait to see if this thing is going to destroy our planet, maybe it would be a good idea to look at it another way. This Stranger Things-like creature could well be an opportunity for marine biologists to explore and analyze a whole new species they perhaps hadn't looked at before. Or we're all going to die. Honestly, it's going to be one or the other. Good luck, everybody. Number 1. 
Cherry Ghost Hoax. Alright, so in the interest of fairness, we should explain that we don't actually know that it's a hoax. That's just a word that's been thrown around often to describe this video. If you're somebody who believes in the video and its contents, then please feel free to continue doing so. The video shows a guy driving around the town of Cherry, southern India, and it's all just fine until he happens to encounter a strange figure dressed entirely in white. As soon as he saw the figure, the guy knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that he'd just witnessed a ghost. It's just lucky that his dash cam was on to capture the whole moment. But the world was less convinced. Newscasters and online viewers dismissed the whole thing as a guy in a costume, while others wholeheartedly believe this thing wanders the deserted roads on the outskirts of town. Who knows where the truth lies? All that really matters is that if you happen to bump into this thing while driving into or out of town, you'd probably be looking to leave. And honestly, I'd be right there beside you, no thank you. Which of these weird creatures frightened you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to check out more of our cool content appearing on screen right now. See you in the next video.